what I think what's in relation to your question of what's happening now, it means that there is a false sense of happiness or excitement or jubilee, which for me is is just sort of an expression of the current state, the actress and the continuation of what was happening and there is absolutely nothing real about that. And, in, and to, to confuse that and actually indulge uh, and indulge this sort of symbolic shift, paradigm shift, i.e. Uh, reveling in this idea that this is the first civil being present and so on and so forth, um, is, is, is utterly like uh, sidetracking us from the actual real problems that are going on. There is a constitutional crisis which continues to take place, uh, so, which also is the backdrop to which then this entire affair happens. And as such, I, do, I don't believe in the legitimacy of this entire process. And if people, if it had, had there been like literally to, to be not one word after differently in, a, in an extremely long and verbose and extremely scripted announcement earlier this afternoon, I think the sentiment on the street would, would have been very different. But essentially, it, it, it's not, I, I, I think it's evident, it's not real. So you think? Do, do you feel that the the situation is manipulated by the? I think the, the situation council? is manipulated by by, by, by the very, man, many different constituents. But again, the, to go three steps back, what you have is a is a complete breakdown of your constitution. Meaning to say that nobody really understands. Like it's a state of lawlessness in the legal in the linguistic sense. So there is no real constitution that holds anything together. There is no particular order um, of. Um, uh, like a sequential sort of system which something happens and then based on that um, I, I, like I, I, a certain I effect that in the last so to say so that uh, the, the various small so events that happened in the last couple of weeks be it the, sort of the SEC, the Supreme Constitutional Court uh, like, and, like the law like the parliament for example is, is completely unconstitutional in and of itself so by, by virtue of that if, if we all agree that this was not constitutional people continue to say even the most rebuttal would say we're going to continue sitting in the square until like uh, you know uh, until we resolved our constitutional like uh, like strife and request and so on well then who has the actual performative power to, to call this person president so it's not it, it, this to me is really confusing because on the one hand you're saying the same system that is saying that the constitution is, or like the dissolved by parliament is unconstitutional, the same system has just announced somebody president. So it's kind of, it's, you know, like, it's a big kid mix. It's not consistent. And as such, there is... Hey, it's me. Can you hear me? Sorry. And as such, I don't think that, uh, that it's real again. And so uh, it's also unclear what the powers of this office are, right? After the last last minute declaration by the military. The, the powers of the presidency office, yeah. I, I don't think he has any powers as such. And I think that, I mean, again, it's like, it's like what Yasmin said earlier is also true, is that he's, he's, he's there, he's serving a symbolic purpose, he's an interim president. Um, this, this is purely theater, so like to, to actually be able to say, you know, to the world or to ourselves that, you know, at least something has been achieved of sorts. There is a president, there is no lawlessness, the state is not falling apart. But it's, it's a complete facade, it, it, it is again, it goes back to this idea, I mean, if, if there is any truth or reality to it, then it would be very different.